Hi YouTube, Matt back here, Got another tool review coming for you. Um, we're going to review the Tech Wrench from Snap-on. This is a half inch drive. My other torque wrenches are, I have a 3 8 foot pounds and a 3 8 inch pounds torque wrenches. They're both click tight. They're both snap on and both click tight. My 3 8 is a swivel head and it's got the little collar here that you adjust it with. So that's my foot pounds. My inch pounds is a straight head. Snap on. Same style. Got the little collar, twist the handle to set it. My half inch drive. Fairly early on, I traded for the same style as my 3/8s to this. This is the Tech Wrench, Snap-on Tech Wrench, not the Tech Angle. This doesn't have the angle. Here's the part number and 25 to 250 foot pounds. And we're going to show you how to use it a little bit, and then we're going to compare it to the 3/8s there. First off, we're going to hit the power button, which is right here. Turn it on. You get the beep. It's set on Newton meters right now. To change that, hit this little button down here. And we are on foot pounds. We're at 25 right now. If I go down, right. 249. I already said it 250. There we go. There's 25. If we hit it again, there's a button down here. We're on inch pounds. So inch pounds, newton meters, and foot pounds. It'll measure all of them. And we're 300, and I think it'll go to 3,000. Uh, 298, 297 technically and 3,000 when you go I don't know why it does that when you go back from 3,000 goes to 300 so technically 300 to 3,000 inch pounds 25 to 250 foot pounds and Newton meters was 330 33.9 to 33.9 to 339 Newton meters so that's the measurements. We'll set it back to foot pounds and we will go down to 25 because that's going to be our demonstration here in a second. So I did buy the flex head, my uh, uh, um, click type half inch that I had was flex head and I won't have one that's not flex head. It just, it's, it's amazing where you can get with a flex head that you can't get with a straight torque wrench it just works now you've got the soft grip handle here and if anybody knows what year the tech angle wrench came out the very first ones I bought this right before that maybe a month before that tech angle came out and I almost upgraded to the tech angle turns out I've never needed it I work on class 7 and 8 trucks most of the time and I can't get the angle with the half inch drive tech angle anyways on you know, cylinder heads, main and rod bolts. This isn't a big enough wrench anyway. So I never did upgrade. I kept this. It's been awesome. I've never had it worked on. It's never gone out of calibration. So we're good. I love this. This torque wrench is awesome. So what you pay for it. I believe I paid close to $300 for this torque wrench here to get that many years out of it. Probably close to 10 years. This is probably about 10 years old. You get 10 years out of a of a, out of a torque wrench without having it worked on. $300 ain't that bad. I don't think. That's my opinion, but I don't I don't think so. So I'm going to set you up here and okay. we're going to do a little demonstration. So we're just going to set this up with a 3 8 bolt here, 9 16 head. We've got a 9 16 socket here. 
on my tech angle wrench. I'll go ahead and turn that on. 25 foot pounds. See that? We'll go ahead and torque this. I'll show you the best feature about this tech angle, tech wrench, tech angle wrenches. The best feature in my opinion. If you take this and I hope it's picking up that sound. You get the beep and you get a vibrate. Vibrates the whole handle. But when I do that, see the numbers blinking are actually what you pulled. So I put it on there and I torque. I actually pulled 28.2 foot pounds. That's the best feature in my mind. So it shows you what you pull every time. You get a little battery light up here in the corner. That's the tech angle or the tech tech wrench versus the regular click type. Let's go ahead and set this. We're set at 25 foot pounds. It clicks right away. Of course, I just have a bolt with a nut just bottomed out on the bolt, so. They're definitely worth every penny. Well, there you go. I don't think you can go wrong with a snap-on torque wrench, period. Uh, the split beams are nice. The clip type with the turning handle, those are nice torque wrenches. This tech wrench and the tech angle wrenches, you can't go wrong. They're so nice and the batteries last a long time. Everybody worries about batteries and whatever. It's not bad on batteries. I love it. I say go buy one. So that's it. That's all I got for you on that one. Thanks for watching. Smash that thumbs up button for me. And comment, share, subscribe if it's your first time. And we'll catch you in the next one.